Supreme Court Denies Cert on Patent and Trademark Cases The U.S. Supreme Court has denied cert on several cases involving patents and trademarks, meaning that the court will not consider the appeals and the lower court rulings will stand. Here are the cases summarized. Eolus Technologies v. Amazon.com Eolus was started in the mid-1980s to commercialize early internet technologies. Eolus, patent infringement claims against companies like Amazon and Google, were invalidated in the Northern District of California. As directed to a patent-ineligible abstract idea under 35 U.S.C. Section 101, on appeal, the Federal Circuit found that interacting with data objects on the World Wide Web is an abstraction, and thus not patentable under Section 101. In its petition for cert, Eolus stressed the many requests for the Supreme Court to clarify the Section 101 eligibility test. Chestec PLLC v. Vidal in 2019, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO, issued a final rule that required trademark applicants to disclose their domicile address on their applications. Chestec PLLC, a trademark law firm, challenged the refusal by the USPTO of its own trademark applications for failure to list a domicile address, citing privacy concerns. The Federal Circuit affirmed the USPTO's refusal. Select LLC versus Vidal. After Select sued Samsung Electronics over image sensor technology, Samsung requested ex parte re-examination of Select's patents, including three that received patent term adjustments, PTA, under 35 U.S.C. Section 154B, due to the USPTO's delay in prosecuting the patent applications. Select's patent claims were invalidated during the ex parte re-examination for obviousness type double patenting, ODP or OTDP. The Federal Circuit recently held that when an inventor has two patents claiming obvious variants of the same invention, the ODP doctrine can invalidate the later expiring patent. This doctrine ensures that patent owners can't unfairly extend their patent term. However, since patents within a patent family are similar, extending the term for one patent within a family can invalidate it under the OTDP doctrine. The Federal Circuit found that Select could have avoided the ODP invalidations if it had filed terminal disclaimers on the patents at issue. Select contended in its petition for cert that the Federal Circuit's ruling created unreasonable uncertainty in patent term length, that patentees can only overcome by preemptively filing terminal disclaimers even when unnecessary. Provisor Technologies v. Weber, Inc. The Federal Circuit in Weber, Inc. v. Provisor Technologies, Inc. Vacated rulings by the Patent Trial and Appeal Board PTAB involving validity challenges by grillmaker Weber against Provisor's commercial food slicer patent claims. The PTAB had concluded that Weber's operating manuals were not available to the public and thus didn't qualify as prior art publications because they had been distributed to only 10 customers under confidentiality restrictions. The Federal Circuit found that when a publication's purpose is dialogue with the intended audience, that purpose indicates public accessibility. Avoid making the same mistakes. Book an appointment with us at www.eonlaw.com. Aeon Law. Unleashing Genius.